The following is presented as a supplement to the Bell & Gossett Series 90 Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual. Remove the top cover plate and the cover plate spacers. Loosen the conduit box cover screws and remove the conduit box cover. Make sure conduit and wiring are disconnected from the pump. Close the isolation valves on the suction and discharge sides of the pump. If the pump is installed, open the drain valve, otherwise remove all the volute drain plugs. Leave the drain valve open. Do not close the drain valve until the reassembly is complete. Remove the drain plugs on the lower levels of the volute to drain all the fluid from the volute. Loosen the volute cap screws, but do not remove them. Shift the pump position slightly in order to allow the pressurized water to escape. Remove the volute cap screws and remove the pump assembly from the volute. Removing the seal assembly. Use either a strap wrench or a rag in order to prevent the impeller from turning with one hand while you loosen the impeller nut with the other hand. For all except the 1.25 inch or 3.16 centimeter seal assembly, lift the spring retainer and the seal spring from the shaft. Remove the compression ring from the seal collar by inserting a small screwdriver underneath the ring and carefully applying an upward force. Remove the ring collar and remaining seal components from the shaft. Inspect the copper shaft sleeve for corrosion or possible leaks and, if necessary, polish the sleeve with a fine emery cloth. Use a clean, lint-free rag in order to remove any debris that is accumulated in the seal recess.